Hello, everybody. This is a, quite a big moment for me to come after my favorite design agency in Europe is something I feel very, very honored. Because if there is a group who I really admire are these two people. Because as you could see, the quality, the high quality of graphics is always there. And that makes me very special this afternoon. Secondly, I also want to thank Model because it's thanks to them that I now and then come to this part of the world. I have a little book for you. In, uh, in, uh, it's my second book in Russian. It doesn't exist in English. It only exists in Russian, unfortunately. Or fortunately, maybe, for the Russians. Um, third, if you feel for laughing, it's allowed. If you find something exceptionally interesting, you are allowed to make some noise. And if you don't agree with what I'm saying, then you can whistle. Uh, sorry. Um, when, when the organizers of Czech Design asked me to come here, I said, I have no time to write a special speech. So I take the one which I'm using these days. And I believe that we might not make all of it. I have 18 advice to give you. So maybe we will end at 13, but don't worry. I'll come back next year and we'll give you the other. So I put the 18 advice. And my those who know me, they know that I start like this. Paradise is full of people who spend eternity telling you about their memories. Hell is just the same, except that they bring their slides as well. And I have quite a lot of slides for you. Um, it will go very fast, because I would like to show you as much as possible of what I have learned during the 50 years I've done this. The sad thing is today that everything that is technical is better tomorrow. Everything with, which has to do with material, everything that has to do with machinery, everything which is communication is worse tomorrow because the human being had got hooked up with a computer too much. And the computer is a tool, a great tool, but it's not a communicator, I can tell you. That's a human being. You will see why. So, when I started, there were three types of flute. Now there are about 12 types of flute. F flute, E flute, D flute, uh, super flute, and God knows what. So, as I told you, we do progress. And we do fantastic embossing. We can emboss now cardboard. The cardboard quality is better, so we can emboss better. So I told you, technical side, progress. When we do design, not these two people from your friends here. They don't do that, as you could see. But the other, the rest of the world, they design like that. They, they just put stickers on and put on and put on and put on. Because the brand manager somewhere said, I need that. And then uh, the designer doesn't say stop. He does because he wants to be paid. So he does what he's been asked to do we end up with disasters like this, or like this. That is 90% of the quality of design which you see in a supermarket in Europe today. That's how bad it is. And who can stop that? Not the industry, because they have no teaching in design any longer. Brand managers come up from business school, and they haven't learned a single thing about design. Who can change it? We, we who do the design. We have to stand up and be much stronger and tell these, our clients, it doesn't work like this any longer. We have to be more professional. Communication could be better, and that's why I have my 18 advice. And the first one is always start with, if I have a good positioning, if I know what I'm doing. 
If I have a brand like Powerbar, my communication shows exactly what it is about. It is about power, it's about happiness, it's about a bit winning and all this. So when you have a clear, simple, and if you have a positioning in more than three words, you have nothing. You have to make it very, very, very clear, very sharp, very in two, three words. If you need 10 words to tell some people what you are and what you do, they, don't, they will not understand you. And the right positioning makes people happy because they understand you. And this is exactly what happens here. We are in the business to make people happy. We designers, we are there to communicate and to help selling products or, or even designing the product in order that the consumer get a smile on their face. And if they don't get a smile on their face, we have missed our job. It's as simple as that. But then we have to learn the difference between an idea, a concept, and an execution. And if you take this one, you, yes, I think I can see the, those not at the end, but how many in this room find that this is bad communication? And how many in this room find this is good communication? And if I ask you to put up your hand, we have no time today, you will find out that 50% in this room will find this bad, and the other 50% will find it good. Because 50% about normally judge it is from an execution point of view, and it is a shitty execution because it doesn't look appetizing. The other, they judge it from a communication point of view. And then it's brilliant because there are eight called yogi, strawberry, and all this. So it is a clear, the communication is clear, but execution. So you have to always make a clear difference what you look at. Some of you have seen this before. They were in Denmark some 15 years ago. Is this good or bad? This is not good or bad. This is excellent. <laughs> because it says big bosoms and smart asses. And the guy who did this, he, he had 15 people in his factory a year after he had 150. Because he understood communication. He understood he was selling to six-year-old boys and girls. And 16-year-old boys and girls in the world, they say pee pee, caca, shit, and all that. So if he then uses selling dead flies, pissing ants, earwax, snots in the nose, you are speaking to your target. And believe me or not, this is Denmark. He had more shelf space than Mars. And if you get more shelf space than Mars, I tell you, you have done very well. So don't, of course this is vulgar, but we are in Denmark, and for a Danish youth, this is, this is normal, depending on in culture you are. Of course, if you do this in US or Russia, I mean, then you'll probably end up in jail. <laughs> if you can't sum up your positioning, as I told you, in two, three words, you don't know what you're talking about. So if we take Anita Roddick, and some of you have heard this already, some of my slides is, let's say, last time I was here, probably 20% are my old slides, but I've tried to modernize them. So Anita Roddick, who was 25 years ahead of us, she's posi her positioning of body shop was a better world. And that's what she was selling. She was not selling uh, soap and facial cream and things like that. She was selling to us a better world 25 years ago, and that's where we are today, and that's where we want to be today. So that is why she was so clever. But the other thing which I must point out is that we cannot be creative if we don't laugh. And in Europe, we have stopped laughing. That's why I invite you to laugh. Take the opportunity. Because you cannot in a serious situation, be creative. It's not possible. She said, business can be fun. And this guy, he also said it can be fun. But he also had a clear positioning for verging, 
whatever he wanted to do with the Virgin brand was about non-conformity, was about freedom, was about use. So it's nothing, you know, when, when I work with people put today and they say, target group, 22 to 25 year old or, or 40 year old housewives and things like that. It's all bullshit today. You can be young. I had, a, I had a guy in my department, he was old at 30. Yes, he was old at 30. He didn't improve during his 40 years I had him, didn't improve. But I, I'm a little bit older today. And I, I hoped at least that I look a little bit younger here, etc. I think funds should be motivated for all business. And that is what Richard Branson said. So he said, we must see to it that we can have a little bit more fun and we will be more creative. Why is positioning so important? It's because it determines what we are going to do. And when we do our positioning, if we, were, if we use words like quality, trust, innovation, it's useless. Every company in the world will use these words. You can't be in business without having trust from your consumers. You can't be in business without R&D. You can't. So these are all bullshit words. So you have to find other words which are more unique for your business, be it a word like absolute or, or, or whatever it is. Here is a good example. Fosters. It's a, it's a, those who are beer drinkers, and you are a lot in this room, uh, they know that Fosters is the authentic Australian beer. So therefore, whatever they do has to do with Australia. So they get the synergy effect. And when you get the synergy effect, you become efficient. It's economy. It's pure economy. So if we go further and go to, to Indonesia, where the positioning is best served with friends, means that you never drink alone, so you always share your beer. And what, how do they do the coaster then? Of course, I do it like this. Your glass here, your friend's glass here, and your friend's friend's glass here. So, <laughs> yes, and they, you sell three, three beers. So you see you increase the sales. This is called communication. And that's the weakest part of all design agencies in Europe. Believe me or not. They are quite good in, in graphic design. They are very good in, in material. They are very good in things. But to sell, because it's all about selling. You will see that in a moment. A clear positioning helps you to find in the big idea. And what can the big idea be? It can be many things. It must grab attention. It must say seem relevant so people believe you. And it must leave an impression. It shouldn't be forgotten. So if we take a unique concept throughout all media, of course, we are not only packaging. When people ask me to do pack design, I say, I don't do pack design any longer. I do concept with packaging as the most important media of that concept. So if you only see these packs or these bottles, you will say, bof, so what? But if you at the same time that you launch this, you have this campaign, now you understand how brilliant it is. It's absolutely brilliant because I tell you, everybody in this room will remember these glasses and this wine. Of course, you can do it for rosé, you can't do it for red wine, but you can do it for rosé. So it's very important that you surprise the consumer. This is surprise. You have to be different. People can't taste the, the, the difference between two beers today. Very difficult. But they can see the graphical identity, which, which are totally different, which makes the beers different. Sorry. So, and here we come. And here I think that my friends here in front of me knows what I'm talking about. Because this kind of, of idea, I don't care if it comes from a design agency or from an advertising agency or whoever, but the one who works on it should be able to do point of sale material, packaging, 
uh, website, etc., so that you get a very clear picture through all media. And that is how great design agencies work today. Three. Then, since I was, I think I told you last time I was in, in Prague, it's you need a ritual. And the ritual makes it much, much stronger. So I give you one. Because, and you can still hear me, because at this time in the afternoon, I need, I need my beer. <laughs> so there is only one way. There aren't two ways to drink. a, a uh, corona. And you, some of you will say, where did this come from? But it comes from that you clean the thing like that so it is proper. Then you do like that, and then you drink. Now, you understand how important it is to have a ritual. And I'll give you another ritual. See to it that you build in a ritual into your pack design. Very important. And I can give you one example. How many packs are difficult to open today? When you can see that if you really want to solve the problem, it's possible. And this is what I call technology. And that's why I'm saying technology goes forward every day. But in communication, we go backwards. So you have to be different. Because consumer, they notice what is. They don't notice what is better. As I told you, between two beers, it's very difficult to taste. But they notice <coughs> what is different. And this elephant understood that if he paints himself in a different color, he is different. However, and that you should always know, there's always somebody more clever than you. So the other elephant, who is more clever, sorry, sorry, he started to paint the background, and suddenly you have another winner. <laughs> so the learning is be different. But if you are too different, people don't believe you. So you have to know where within where you can work. Four, you need a reason to believe. A unique selling proposition. You need something which makes it that your product is better than the competitor. And you can see here that just by selling a cleaner glass for the same price, she is the winner. And that is the role of the agency to help the client to find this little thing which makes a difference. Now, Uncle Benz was the only one who said it doesn't stick. All the other rices that didn't stick either, but they didn't say it. 
which is today the biggest parboiled rice in the world, is, is Uncle Ben's from Mars. Because they insisted, 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 which the others didn't. So you have to find why people buy you, and you have to own that word. So go back and study why do you why do people buy this product and then you'll find it out and then you just bomb it in on the pack on the point of sale etc it's not more difficult but you see why does it become difficult because company change brand managers every 20 or 12 months so you change people constantly and these people want to always be new things and that is why that goes wrong. You need a call to action. Seriously cheaper. That's a real call to action. You can go to my website and read a story about a shop down in, in, in Ireland. He says, feel free to try on our knitwear. I tell you, if you have tried it on, you have bought it. So you have to, you have to, and I have here the most fantastic sales success in Switzerland today. They have messages because that you can do today because don't forget we now have digital printing and things like that. So it says here, it's that special something. And on this one it says, it's a little charmer. And then you have text here. And then you have text here. It's some for your soul, etc. This is for you to rem take with you home. <laughs> and this is for you and tell your clients that start communicating, start to communicating. We have forgotten that packaging is advertising. It's the same thing. But we don't understand that. We just, we just put logotypes. People don't eat logotypes. They don't drink logotypes. So, where is now my, my thing is here. So, you need what I call the loaded words. Action. Do it big or stay in bed. Don't come to work if you make things small. You won't, you won't, I tell you, if you do things small, people don't see it. By the way, I can now, for uh, what's my girlfriend who's sitting here? She went. <laughs> are you good in Are you good in English? Are you good in English? You're good in English. Uh, then she will now read this text for you. I have a text here, and she will read it loud for you. And when she read it correct, I'll give it to her. I painted it yesterday. And, and she will take it home as a memory. Do you agree? We do that test? Okay. And you only get, ah, wait a minute, you only get five seconds because on an ad or thing like that, you don't get 30 seconds you got. So what does it say, the text? The black cat is hiding in the forest. The black cat is hiding in the forest. This text does not say that. This text said something totally different. And this highly intelligent woman couldn't read it because her brain, and she hasn't yet. You want a second song? <laughs> so what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> no. You see? You know this. You know the trick. You know the trick. So what does it say? It says, the black cat is hiding in the, the forest. And she doesn't read that. And this is exactly why packs today are full of the, the. You stick logotypes, you stick logotypes. People don't see them. Because our brain functions like this. My dear friends, three things. That's what our brain wants. So our brain sees the forest, it sees the cat, and it sees it black. At that moment, our 
brain stops. They don't want more up there in the cabeza up here. You see? And you, in packaging, you put that and that. You saw in the beginning, you saw the first facts I showed you, full of things. Darling, you still get it. <laughs> so that is very, very important, that you understand that we can't continue and just fill up our packs with more text. Five. I told you yet before, we have to speak about packaging as a main media, but we also have to understand other media. Because we want to have a synergy effect. One plus one must make three. And this is exactly what Oreo is doing. Oreo has great, they could have better communication, but you see it on packaging, on point of sale, on out. Look at the simplicity of these people, and look at what happened uh, and then, of course, I even tell the consumer, for those who don't know already, how do you eat an uh, Oreo? And look what I did when there was a, a, a sun or moon eclipse. Uh, was it two months ago? Maybe not here, but we had it in Switzerland. So they even, you see how, how clever you can. That your pack, or your product, becomes really part of life. And they are very good at that. Okay. I give you also a, a good, no, a bad good example, or a rather a, a, a good bad example, you understand. Here you can see very strong branding, very strong branding. It's all smarties, great. But if you then come in front, then what you get is smarties, 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 all bloody logotypes, and I told you, People don't eat logotypes. They don't drink logotypes. So you have to have a message. And this is why I showed you. And this is why I was, did my store checking yesterday. And this is all you do in this country. You haven't still discovered that this is advertising. This part here. It costs you nothing to say, buy three and be more happy. It's, it's not difficult. It's, it's not difficult at all. You just have to use your... Okay, so next. I don't have time to explain this, but for those who want to know more, you can probably go to my website and there you will find it. Because that explains that up here, you must be best in category. While out here on outdoor, the only thing that counts is big branding. And in between here, you can see that depending on the media, you have to do different things. But that's too long to explain today. Six. Now, 95% of all design manuals are wrong. Because people still do design manuals of 10 to 20 pages. And if you do a design manual with 10 to 20 pages, you stop all creativity. A design manual, which is a kind of a guideline, should be short, three to four pages, and should stimulate that you are better tomorrow. Because we are living in a world which doesn't stand still. So your guidelines, or your call it whatever you call it, has to be very simple and just fixed on logotypes and color scheme and things like that. But don't fix everything, because then you have stopped creativity. And then you can't be better. And this is the big, dramatic situation of all multinational companies. They have gone st completely stuck today. And the lowest, uh, I would say that the lowest level of creativity today is from the big companies. So a brand identity is to create a framework that defines the key parts of your identity, stop deviations from the brand's visual essence, but inspires creativity to move the brand forward and to be always contemporary. You can't hang behind any longer. So, and you have to include all the media where the brand is used. And of course, you have to give freedom in layout, 
because you have to very often optimize. So I have give you an example here. If the manual says that the Maggi logotype has to be horizontal, you will have a small logotype. While here, I turned it on his head, and I could have a logotype all over. And then, of course, I went to Germany. Do you know what the Germans said? Ja, wir verstehen nicht. That is not the whole logotype. But the whole logotype, it's there, because our our brain fills in what is missing. I mean, it's still me. It's still me. <laughs> so the words you need to use in a guideline are reduce, optimize, prioritize, and simplify, improve. These are the what I call the words which give you the direction. Guidelines and rules are necessary but they stop creativity. We need them. I'm not against them, but they have to be designed differently. And you realize what I said, designed. For me, design is a verb. Design is not a noun, a substantive. Design is what we do. It's our way we approach things in order to, as a final result, we might have a good design, but it's mainly the work, the way we work. We have to work stepwise. The first, we don't need a computer in the first step. We need it later, but in the first step, we only need our brains. We need discussion. So we have to have the right people. And then secondly, we need, and you saw it, from our friends. You saw some sketches they had done with the, uh, with the bear, bear or whatever it was. You need this. This is the best tool you have. It's called a Tombo. It's very expensive. It costs four euros. But I tell you, you must start by sketching. And then when you have the idea, then of course you use the computer. But the problem is today that people start with the computer too early. And the computer cannot think for you. You see the problem. And then do not design all parts at the same time. So you start with a logotype. And you saw some great logotypes 20 minutes ago. They were really, really designed. They were not typefaces. They were maybe started as a typeface, but they were personalized. And here you can see, this is private label in Italy, how great it can be because the logotype should, if possible, express something. So if your logotype can express, you don't need an icon. If you have a logotype which cannot express, what you need is then an icon, a symbol. And now I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, all big companies understood that the icon is more important than the logotype because the icon is more emotional. The logotype is very seldom emotional, while the icon, if it's a spokesman, if it's a bear or whatever it is, is very often much more emotional. So you, the consumer is better involved. Look at that. That's what design can do when it really, really, and you know what happened with this design? He was on television. He was in all newspaper. So the agency who did this one, or, or rather the, the company, got free advertising because people love to show what is good. Very important. And I don't think you can do tiger nuts better than that. So you need an icon. And here you can see the icon is stronger than the Coco Pops. And look what it does on point of sale. It gives you a much stronger point of sale. And the icon can also be the, uh, the red star. And uh, you can use it. This is contemporary design. Every, when I go to Nestle and say, yeah, but you can't touch the Nescafe logotype. I said, but you are dreaming. You can touch any logotype today, depending how you do it. You can't destroy it, but you can cut it. You can show half of it. You can do, you can do it in three, 3D. 
You can do it in perspective. You can do a lot of things. And you need, of course, brand colors. But brand colors, plain, are not good. So you have to put some life into them. So you put some pattern into them. And look here, this is a, a Swedish copy of, um, uh, of KitKat. KitKat has no chance in Sweden because this is visually so much stronger, so much more telling. The product is not as good, but it doesn't matter. You know, uh, Absolute is one of the worst vodka you can drink. And it's number one vodka in the world. Why? Because design and advertising. Style. That's another thing. Do you have a style? There is a company in France called Michel et Augustin, who is just selling more and more and more. And they have, you see, they don't, they don't need a logotype any longer, because that is their spokesman. That is, do it big or stay in bed. Don't come to work if you can't do that. It's as simple as that. So, we'll continue. You tell me when my time is out, because I know that I will not do everything. So, every, San Pellegrino is a good example. Twice I've been in Milano, and they asked me to redesign San Pellegrino. I said, no, not with me. You can do it with somebody else, but not with me. However, San Pellegrino can still do special editions for a shorter time, which is slightly different, but has the same character, the same style. They would never go away from that style. And the best you can own is, of course, to simplify everything down to a letter. And when you have only a letter, you become extremely, extremely strong on point of sale. Or, and you know that we are now celebrating the 100 years of, of the Coca-Cola bottle, so a shape is always something, and you know the hind shape, the shape is something which is very good to own. And you see here how you can really, really increase your shelf impact if you understand the power of a shape. That was a, 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 a servada or a, a salami, which was, had, of course, a mushroom in it. Eight, flawless execution. We saw, when I spoke, I didn't understand what I said, but I saw, spoke about food styling and things like that. So God is in the details. So we have to also see to it that we really know which part of the apple. Is it this part here? Certainly not because it has no structure. So you have to also know, and there are specialists, and I call food stylists, and I know this. A flat ham is not as interesting as a ham which is rolled up. And this is, of course, it's a, it's a job in itself. In, in Germany, there are 100 people which are food stylists, which just goes from one photographer to the other and do food styling. And, and of course, action, everything in action is fresher than static. So you have to see to it that you get action into. Or, or you do like my cafe, you take away the cup and you get straight into the product. Very clever. This, I worked with this photographer. He knew everything. You have to close your eyes, you have to touch your lips, you have to brittle off this, etc., etc. That's how Magnum became the biggest brand in the category in the whole world. The Magnum ice cream is nothing special. It is vanilla ice cream with chocolate covering. But they had a brand, Magnum, and they had a way of, un, uh, uh, of communicating this. Mm. You close your eyes when something is good. I told Maggie, I said, you should have the same thing. You should have a consumer that closes her eyes and say, Maggie. Do you know what the German said? No, but they don't see the product then. So, you know. <laughs> so, I went to my McAfee locally, and that's how they did it, they, how they did it. And I was traveling, and I remember it was in New Zealand, and I saw this one. So I took that with me back where I live, and I said, look what I got in Auckland. Oh, but we can also do that. And look what they did for me. That's, that is really what we, business we are into. It's all about food styling. Always improve, never stop. So here, sorry, sorry, 
Sorry. So this one here, here is less good than this one because this one's in on top. But people believe that the logotype should be on top. There's no law, there's no rule, there's nothing that says that. But most people say, ah, oh, the logotype must be on top. And then, of course, on the service panel, which is the back panel, you also see to it that you reach some sort of, of 90% of all back panels on packs today are boring to hell because people don't know how to do a, a layout. A layout should be as in the newspaper. You need a title, you need a headline, and things like that. But pack designers, they just put down it like that straight. I, I don't know why it is so bad on packaging, but it is. If something looks interesting, it will be read. If new and different, you cannot avoid reading it. And this is what Ala, the big milk company in Sweden, does. They have really good news, hungry, a good start. You see, they have titles. And when it's titled, people read it. But if you don't put a title, they will not jump into the text. So it's big learning for those who don't know it already. Nine, constant update, never be satisfied. This is what Google does. Google's brand becomes stronger and stronger and stronger, but, but they are changing the logotype. This is what Diet Coke in, in, in the US did. And look at this, Nivea. Isn't it beautiful what they can do, etc. It's just that now and then they have bad designers, and, and if you take the latest, which is out these days, it's, not, it's for you, uh, <laughs> it's not good at all. So even Nivea, apparently bought cheap from a second, second designer. So, and this story everybody knows. When Design Bridge did this one, they sold out the whole production in one week, gone for St. Valentine's Day. So the learning was, that's what we will do in the future, today to my dad, and for Christmas I did ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and that is exactly what is communication today. You have to constantly do something so you are what we call top of mind. This is very, very important. Okay? Stop that one. I'll stop that. To improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. And that's what Winston Churchill said. This story, I will very quickly go. This chocolate was sold. For those who don't know the chocolate, here is one chocolate and here is one chocolate for you. We sold only to men. So somebody said, can we also send to women? Yes. But how do we sell to women? We tell them that it is not for them. <laughs> so if we tell them it's not for them, they will buy it. And suddenly the sales just went up. But the learning is, if you do a thing like that, you have to do it in all media. So you have to also do it in other media. So they said, do not feed the birds. Or this one, you got the vote, be happy with that. <laughs> the best one was this one. Girls, do not buy Yorkie. Take driving lessons. <laughs> I told you technical update every day. So you have now, and you have finally, a company which understood it. And I don't know if you can buy it. Finally, Heineken has a concept which they call extra cold. So you take, you buy this home, you throw it into the freezer, not the fridge, 20 minutes and it is all red. And that's when you should drink it because then it is cold. When it has gone white, then, then it is too warm. So they have made a concept out of it because the technology could do that. 10, surprise, humor. How much humor do you use? I don't think we use enough. Here we have to go to England, and I'm not surprised that our friends here work a lot for Tesco, because the Brits are very good in using humor. And if you're having like this sea salt, of course they use people on the seashore, I'm sure. So do it big or stay in bed. How big? 
I don't know. It's up to you to decide with your client. Look at this. I told you the icon, let to stop, two minutes. Two minutes and then we, and then we go home. Good, okay? <laughs> so that is how you can do it so people see you. So we go to, we go to number 30. And some pedigree, you know, you can see here, even with a high class, people say, yeah, but I have a high class brand, I can't grow and make it big. You can, you can see how beautiful it is. So I do number 11, we need, we, you, we, we use, we have to use all communication tools, and that is will by last slide. You have to understand graphics, you have to understand material, you have to understand shape, you have to understand how to do illustrations, you have to understand the technical side like you show the inks. You have to understand copy. Most design companies have no copywriter. I don't know how they work. You, I mean, if you want to communicate, you do it visually and verbally. Touch, high touch. That's what which some of your packs, which you will show now, they have high touch and symbolism. So I think we stop there. Um, I thank you so much that you could um, stand me so long. Uh, I have nothing more. I only want to show you two things. In Sweden, 50% of all wine is in bag in box. 50%. When this company, they had a normal box, they made it into a handbag, they sold five times more. If you still don't understand what proper design can do, I can't do more for you because that's exactly what design. And look at this one. It's called the bag in the cookbook. So it's a bagging box and then you, it's a book so you have the recipes for your red wine. So I hope with this too you have got a feeling for the importance of design in the society today, and you have some great designers in this country, it can still be much better, because you are not a design country, as Denmark or things like that, but you are on the good way, and I congratulate you for that, thank you so much.